Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Ikigami TM14-17R professional monitor. And we're going to walk through the pots necessary to adjust the horizontal and vertical sizing and position. The first interesting thing you'll notice when you take that top plate off is just how much wasted space are in these things. I mean, they really could have moved those two boards forward and shaved about six inches off the depth of this thing. If your old lady ever gets mad at you and puts you in the doghouse for all the CRTs you own, you could always add a spare bedroom inside of one of these things. There's room for a cot and some furniture. The good thing is they're easy to work on and you ain't got to worry about overheating. Here you can see it compared against the 1344Q. Now these were previously rack mounted and although they had the four threaded screw holes on the bottom for feet, they did not have feet. So I added these Teflon padded little footses to the bottom. So for initial testing, I have a 14 inch Toshiba consumer CRT hooked up, the Sony 1344Q and the Ikigami 17R. And I quickly noticed that we're gonna have to get in there and do some pot tweaking to adjust the horizontal and vertical sizing and position. See, there's quite a bit of black bar on the right and left hand side and in the vertical positions, top and bottom. Now with this monitor, you do want to have 75 ohm termination plugs on the back um, or another display connected, which is what I'm doing in this case. And you'll need to remove those four top screws and pull that top plate off. A look in the service manual will show that on the power and deflection board, we will have all the pots we need for everything except vertical sizing. Here's a look at the actual board. You can see at the very rear, we have vertical center followed by normal width, the under scan width, and then at the far end, we have horizontal centering. Here I'm starting with the rearmost pot, vertical centering, also called vertical position. I'm just working on a general adjustment. I can come back and fine tune this later, which I do. Then I go back a pot, which is your normal width. This is what you will be playing 90% of the time in your normal four by three aspect ratio. And after I set that, I go to the under scanned width. And when you hit that under scan button, it will revert to what you make these settings adjusted to. And I use this for 90% of the time you're gonna be in your normal settings, but certain systems you know you can have the top and bottom cropped off and you can just hit your under scan and it'll be a little bit smaller of an image where everything will fit in there nice here i've moved on to that last pot closest to me on the board which is your horizontal positioning and after we get this set we will have adjusted all the pots necessary for uh vertical and horizontal sizing and positioning on this board Unfortunately, the last setting we need, which is vertical height, is not on the same board. So we're going to have to take this side panel off to access the video board. And it will expose us to three pots for vertical sizing under our normal conditions, vertical sizing for the under scan condition. And then you can also adjust vertical sizing for 16 by 9 if you're so inclined to do that. So this pot here closest to the tube will be used for your normal vertical height. The second is for your under scan height and the third is for your 16 by 9 height. So here I start by setting the vertical height in the normal mode. Now I'm just going to switch back to underscan and I will set that underscan vertical height. 
and I don't bother with 16 by nine. There's nothing I'm going to run with that content. And like I said, I just aim to adjust that under scan setting slightly smaller than I do for my full screen setting, just in case a game has some content cut off that I can go and hit that under scan button. So here's a look of the under scan settings. And then if we go and hit that scan button, we can get back to normal. And that's how I have it set for now. I go back and tweak it. You'll probably end up going back and tweaking things in more. It's usually a multi-step process, especially if you're OCD like me. And from here, we're pretty much done with all the horizontal and vertical positioning and sizing. Um, I didn't have to mess with anything else on this set. Geometry was good. And I don't know if this will help anybody out or not. I figured since I'm doing it, I might as well create some content on it. I'm not sure what other models this might correlate to. I mean, it might fit right coinciding with the 19 inch model or it might not. If it don't, you'll have to just download the service manual and see what pots you need to tweak. But at least now you have a general idea of the process. And that's pretty much going to wrap this one up. I just wanted to throw this little short video out there in case it helped anybody with any of these Ikigamis. So don't forget to like and subscribe. The next video is going to be a comparison of slot mask, shadow mask, and aperture grill.